Welcome back to another video on Tutor LMS from the Themium team. Today, we are going to be looking over the backend course creator of Tutor LMS, how it works, and how we can use it to set up a course and have it running with all the needs. So, without further ado, let's get into it. When we first click on add a new course, the first text box we see is one where we can add a course title. So let's go ahead and name this course Web Development 101. This will be the title of our course. Following this, we can add a course description and an excerpt, which basically gives us a summary of our course and what our students can expect from the course. Scrolling down, we come to one of the main sections, which is the course settings. Here, we can see that there are two tabs, general and content drip. So starting off with the general settings, we have a section to select the maximum number of students that we can allow into the course. Setting it to zero means that there is no limit, but we are going to go ahead and let's say set this to 25. That will mean that once 25 students have enrolled into this course, no more students are allowed to enroll into the course. Next, we have a difficulty level that we can set so as to let students know what they can expect from this course. Since this is a 101 course, this would be a beginner level course. Next, we have a toggle to make this course public or private. Public basically means that anyone without enrolling for the course will be able to join the course. So we're not going to make this public. And lastly, we have a toggle for the Q&A section, which if we turn on, will enable Q&A sections for the course pages automatically. So another settings that we had in the course settings is the content drip. This is where we'll find the content drip for our course, but we will actually go in depth about content drip and how we can get that up and running on another video. So do keep your eyes out for that. All right. So moving on to the next section, we have an attachments tab. Here we have the option to add attachments and whatever file you upload here is made globally available for the whole course once a student enrolls. So ideally this file would be the course curriculum or something like that basically. So with that note, let's go ahead and upload a PDF over here. So we click on upload attachments and we'll go to upload a file. So we can see that we have uploaded a PDF called Web Dev Basics and we're gonna go ahead and upload this media and now this PDF has been uploaded. After that, scrolling down, we have the course prerequisites. We can set the course prerequisites so other suggested courses, if there are any, students should complete before this specific course. Since this is a basic course, we're not going to have a prerequisite for this course. And now we come to the main section of course building. So how the course builder works is we first need to create a topic under which we will have a lesson for that topic. And then we can have quizzes and assignments for each individual lesson. So to start off, click the button to add a topic and provide a description for the topic if you want. So let's go ahead and name this topic starting off with web development. This will be the name of our topic. And if we want, we can also add a topic summary. We're going to skip adding a topic summary. So then we can click on this button and this will add the topic to our course. We now move on to creating a lesson. Clicking the lesson button brings up the pop-up that lets you configure a lesson. So first we are going to be adding a lesson name. So let's go ahead and call this lesson object oriented programming. Over here is the lesson content. So a description of the lesson and what you're trying to teach in the lesson would go on here. Scrolling down, we can add a featured image for the lesson if you want. And next, we have a video source. Tutor LMS lets you add videos from many different kinds of sources. You can either add an MP4 file, you can use external URLs, or you can just paste a YouTube video URL and this will show up on your lesson automatically. So we're going to go ahead and paste a demo video YouTube URL here. And lastly, we have a section for attachments. Here, the attachments we upload are going to be uploaded as exercise files. So once we're satisfied with all of this, we go ahead and click update lesson. And we can see that now there is a new lesson under our previously created topic. So the next step would be creating a quiz. But we won't be going over that on this video since we already have a video on quiz building. So do check that out. All right. 
we're almost towards the end. So following that, we have some additional data. We can write out the benefits of taking this course, which might influence students to want to take your course. So let's go ahead and add a description for this. After that, we can select a target audience, which will help students figure out if this course is really meant for them. We can also set a total course duration, how many hours it would approximately take to finish this course. Then we can tell students what materials we will be including with the course. So for example, if you're including any books, you could list them down and this would appear in the course preview and students would have a better idea if they want to take this course, depending on what materials they would be getting. And lastly, we can have requirements or instructions for the students that we want to add. This would be any additional requirements. For example, if your course is in, say, Spanish, then you would require your students to know Spanish. So if you have any requirements like that, you could add that on this section. Next, we have a section where we can add a course intro video that would only appear on the course preview page. And lastly, we have a section to select a certificate template. So after the completion of the course by your students, you could have a certificate to present them with. And with that, we are finally at the end of our course creation. But we're not done just yet. Let's take a look and see what this course looks like on the front end. So before we go to the front end, we're gonna go ahead and save this course and publish it. To save the course, we hit this publish button right here. This has published our course and we're finally done. So to see our course on the front end, we're gonna go ahead and click this button called view course. And this will take us to the front end to see the wonderful course that we've just created. Congratulations. Now we are really finally at the end. We hope that this tutorial was beneficial to you. Please let us know down in the comments, any suggestions you have and Always have a good one.